We have a lot to discuss today. This news article actually talked to Santa and actually uses the name 1776 Restoration Movement. Let's take a look real quick. Action has a national impact, encouraging people like David of Ohio to come to Batavia. I, I am loving what I'm hearing here. Love the atmosphere here. The people are just, these are my people. But a couple miles away. So yeah, they got his name wrong. Uh, they do quote him farther down. They say, David Riddle, leader of the 1736 Restoration Movement, said those in favor against the event are not that far apart. He said the differences in beliefs on how the country should be run. Riddle said that Lolly was not always registered to a political party. He's all, he leaves more right. The left is pushing for us to become a democracy. Democracy focuses on equality. A constitutional republic focuses on individual liberty, and that's what we should be focused on. So yeah, he did go on his little rant, and they just cut it out and added a small snippet of it to their article. So you might be wondering, well, what else is going on? Well, yesterday, there was a question posed to Santa. I'm too lazy to go find the clip. And he was asked, does anyone use meth in camp? And the answer wasn't no. The answer was, I don't know. He doesn't know if they do or not. Well, Stormtrooper referred to Crystal, uh, the spray pepper, pepper spray woman, got arrested as Crystal Meth. And that's kind of funny. Now, he might not know if any of his members are doing that, but he still does claim that, you know, everyone's lying about Bandit in the level three. Everyone's lying about it. Uh, I'll link this so you can hear him complain about it. He also complains about transgender people in the video. Uh, X-Ray is talking about not covering what's going on in the rally because he got denied a press pass, which is so funny. So, so funny. Uh, Bunker Hill is trying to do a convoy and it's really, really sad. Uh, also, we had uh, Golden Chariot say that the event didn't have 1776 as a vendor because of Jersey J. Uh, if we go down, Jersey J has a different story. As you see, uh, Secret Service has determined that their group was uh, so controversial they're not allowed to have a vending tent. I'm just throwing out there, those are the facts. That's exactly what I was told from the people themselves. As you see... Uh... So, yeah. Yeah. Uh... This is like my little update. I'll I'll link to this one. Uh, I've used a couple of their tweets, so I'll probably link to their account because they're doing updates, uh, and that's what I'll do for the pinned comment. But uh, it's just so funny that what they p do put in is him admitting he's right wing and that he wants to get rid of democracy. And I guarantee he's going to see this part and be like, yeah, the average American is going to be on my side for that one. 